write this in the comments. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a mighty weapon. It's a weapon of war. Praise is a mighty weapon. Sometimes all we need is just to praise the Lord, just to praise Him for His goodness. Amen. This is one of the this is one of the ways that you can win battles. This is one of the ways that you can win your battles is by praising the Lord. And I'm going to show you in the Bible. I'm going to share with you really quick four things that praise will do. Praise. Four things that praise will do in our lives. And uh, uh, another thing that, you know, praise, uh, what I love about praise is because praise uh, when we take the time to praise the Lord, to worship the Lord for His goodness, praise, okay, creates in us a grateful heart. Praise creates a grateful heart. We don't want, people of God, let me tell you something. We don't want to be in the position of always asking God, always requesting. It's like one Prayer request after the next. Always in that place of God, I need a miracle. I need a blessing. Amen. I need this. I need that. We don't want to ever be in that position. We want to you know, be grateful for, the, for everything that God is doing. Not just asking, but praising Him. Acknowledging His goodness. Amen. Creating us, you know, when we praise Him and we worship Him for the little details, for everything that is going on in our lives, it creates us. It creates in our heart a grateful heart. Amen. We don't want to be in a position of always looking for the next miracle, looking for the next blessing. We want to acknowledge His goodness and come before Him say, God, I'm not here for blessing. I'm here for you. I'm here to... Thank you for everything that you are doing in my life, in my family, my job. And, you know, I'm here to worship you. I'm not here to ask you. I'm not here to present to you my prayer request. I'm here to say thank you because you are so good. Amen. It's really important that we create this, you know, that we combine you know, we are a people of prayer. That's, you know, our prayer, you know, uh, 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 you know, you are in the prayer channel. We are here praying. We pray for everything you mention. Some people, some people ask me, Fernando, how do you come up with the ideas of all these prayers? You pray a lot of specific things that a lot of people don't pray. <laughs> Amen. We pray. We pray a lot of things. I thank God that we are able to pray specific, very specific things that a lot of people don't address. Amen. But we cannot fall short from giving God the glory. Amen. We have to make sure that we take the time to worship the Lord for everything He is doing. You know, acknowledge His goodness. Acknowledge the work of His hand. So because of the time, and I have to get ready to go to church, I almost forgot. Okay, here, here it is. Four things that praise will do in our lives number one when we praise the lord when we take the time to praise to worship the lord praise will redirect your focus oh i love about this about praise praise redirect your focus you know a lot of times when we're going through the things of life you know our day to day you know as we face our battles it's very easy and if we're not careful, we can fall into that time and time again where you lose your focus and you start looking more at your problems than looking to God. How many of you are guilty of that? <laughs> I'm guilty of that. Amen. Instead of looking and gazing upon the Lord, we get caught up into all this stuff that is going on around us and we lose the focus. We lose. Amen. We stop gazing upon the Lord and we start looking all of this. And that's what the devil loves. The devil loves to take our eyes off 
uh, you know, of the Lord and put in our problems. And guess what? This is what the problem is. When you gaze, you know, upon your problem, you look, you take your eyes of the Lord, you start looking at your problems. Guess what? Your problem gets bigger. The Bible says, that which I fear the most has come upon me. The more you look into your problem, it keeps growing. It keeps getting bigger. In your head, in your mind, is getting bigger and bigger because all you can see is the problem. So, uh, you know, when you praise, you take the time to praise, to worship the Lord. Amen. You combine with prayer and, and you praise, you worship. Amen. What are you doing? You're redirecting your focus. I love that. Second thing. Second thing, uh, when you praise the Lord, when you worship the Lord, amen, as you're driving your car, you're praising Him, amen, as you're running errands, you're praising Him. You know what, I have a, 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 a headphone, a, 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 and I just go for a walk, I love doing this, I love to go for a walk, listening to praise and worship and just Sometimes I make my own songs, you know, I sing out of my, my own, you know, sing out of my heart and just let the words flow and I love doing that. So when you praise the Lord, one of the things that is so powerful is that when you're praising the Lord and you push the enemy away, if there's one thing that the devil cannot stand is a Christian that praise God. Pr listen, Praise is a powerful weapon against the devil. The devil cannot stand at a child of God, a man and woman that praise God. Praise is a torment for the, for the devil because he was a worshiper at one time and uh, he knows the power of praise and worship. And, uh, and the devil cannot resist, cannot stand in the presence of a child of God that is going through all this stuff, but yeah, choose to praise Praise pushes the enemy away. And the uh, 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 third, third thing that praise will do, uh, when you praise the Lord, as you're praising Him, the Lord is fighting your battles. The Lord is going before you. You praise Him. And this have, this have happened in my life. I don't know how many times. I, I, I'm telling you, I have seen breakthroughs after breakthroughs. That instead of me fighting in prayer, you know, going after the devil, there's a place for that. And we do that often here. <laughs> but instead of always fighting the devil, what do you do? You praise the Lord. You worship him for his goodness. You worship, you worship him for his faithfulness. Amen. You're grateful. You thank the Lord. And as you're doing that, the, devil, the Lord is pushing the devil away. The Lord is fighting your battles for you. And the last thing, when you praise, the walls comes down. Somebody say amen. When you praise the Lord, the walls, the resistance, everything that keeps you inside of this bubble, this box, it comes down. Amen. When you praise the Lord, the walls come down. Just like happened in Acts 20, uh, 16, 25, and 26. When Paul and Silas, amen. They were beat up, they were put in jail, and they had many reasons to be complaining. How many of you know that they had many reasons to complain and say, God, I've been preaching the gospel. I just cast out a demon of a, 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 a young lady with a spirit of divination, and now they put me in prison, they beat us up, and we're here. They had many reasons to look into the, the wounds, the hurt in their bodies, the pain, but they didn't do that. The Bible says that they begin to praise to the Lord, singing praises. Amen. They begin to worship. And as they were doing that, the, the prison came down. The walls came down. And they were free. Praise God. That's what happens when we praise the Lord. Listen to what the Word of God says. I love this passage of Scripture here. Psalms 100, the Bible says, uh, verse 1, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us and not we ourselves. 
we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. In verse 4, this is a key. Enter his enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever. Amen. His truth endures to all generations. Praise is a powerful weapon. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you this week. Amen. This is the last week of our prayer challenge for this month. And I want to encourage you. Uh, you know, how many of you have to drive to your, to your work? I want to encourage you. As you're driving to work this week. Amen. Combine, you know, prayer. You know, pray as you drive. But also praise the Lord. Say, God, I thank you for this last week of our prayer challenge. I thank you, God, for everything that you do in my life. I praise you for all the work of your hands, everything that you're doing in my life. I know you're doing a great work in my life. I know you're changing me. So you, you start thanking the Lord, and all of a sudden you see that your mind is so in God that you forget about your problems. You forget. You take your eyes off your problems. Amen. Let us Praise the Lord right now. Just lift up your hands. Let us praise the Lord for everything He's doing. Praise the Lord for your family. Praise the Lord for your job. Praise the Lord for your health. Praise the Lord for what He's doing in your life. He's a good God. Let us praise Him. Father, we thank you so much. This morning, we don't want to ask you for a miracle. We don't want to ask you for a blessing. You've been doing, Lord God, amazing things in our lives. This whole month, we've been praying and asking for miracles, deliverance, breakthroughs. But this morning, we say thank you. We want to take some time to praise you for everything that you're doing. Lord God, I thank you because praise, worship is a mighty weapon against the forces of darkness. Praise and worship redirect our attention, our focus. Many of us, we've lost focus and we have to praise. And the more we praise, the more we gaze upon you, the more we can see with clarity. The more darkness flee, the more, Lord God, the, the evil runs because light and darkness cannot dwell together. And when we praise you, Lord God, the, the darkness leave, the oppression leave. Lord God, just like David, he would dance and dance. He would... Lord God, he would just go in, 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 into that place of worship and he would dance. And, and there's so much that we can learn with that man after your heart. King David was a worshiper. I thank you, Paul and Silas. It was, they were worshipers. They worshiped. They decided to worship you. In the midst of all the troubles that they were going through, they decided to worship. And they showed us how powerful worship is. How powerful it is when we, instead of complaining and murmuring, instead of getting upset because things are not working the way we expected, we just worship. When we worship, Lord God, mountains, Lord God, are cast out into the sea. When we worship, Lord God, uh, uh, you remove the, the barriers and the mountains and the, and the hindrances. When we worship... Lord God, prison, prison walls come down. And so I thank you for everything that you are doing in, the, in us. I thank you, God Almighty, for all the works of your hand. If we are here this morning, if we are praying together this morning, is because of your goodness, is because of your faithfulness. We could not be here this morning praying for one another, uh, 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 worshiping uh, together. We could not be here this morning if you didn't, if you didn't, Lord God, uh, 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 breathe life into us. You allowed us, Lord God, thank you for the breath of life. You allowed us to get up this morning. If we are here, it's because of you. Thank you for the breath of, of life. Thank you, Lord God, because we can breathe. Thank you, Lord God, for the breath in our lungs. Thank you, Lord God, because we can look up to heaven and say you are good. You are faithful. Lord God, we don't want to take for granted all the blessings. We don't want to fall into a snare 
Lord God, we are a prayer channel. We pray all the time, but we don't want to fall into the snare of always coming before you because we have a need. Always coming before you because we have a, a, a prayer request. No, Father God, we want to come before you because we worship you, because we love you, because we acknowledge that you are good. Lord God, if we stand here this morning, it's because of your goodness and mercy. Lord God, so many people didn't wake up this morning alive. Millions of people didn't wake up alive this morning. But you allowed us to get up. You allowed us to get out of our bed. You allowed us, Father God, to come together. Lord God, I pray, create in us, Lord God, a heart of worship. Give us a heart of worship. This is the prayer I do pray, Father God, that to create in us a heart of worship. Lord God, if we've been complaining and murmuring and always looking into the negative things that is going on, Lord God, help us to refocus. Help us to look to you and to become a worshiper, to praise you, to praise you. When we are in a valley. To praise you. When we are in the wilderness. To praise you Lord God. When we are going through the desert. And also Lord God. When we are on the top of the mountain. No matter what season we are in. No matter Lord God. What is going on. No matter the ups and downs of life. We want to go through life. With a thankful heart. With a heart of worship. Create in us. A thankful heart. Create in us a heart of gratitude. Help us to be those who look for every reason to praise you. Help us, Lord God, to look for opportunities, to look for every little thing. To say, that's the work of your hands. Oh God, give us a heart of worship. Lord God, we are in this last week of our prayer challenge for this month. And I have no question that you have done wonderful, wonderful things in us. And we say today, thank you. Thank you for the work of your hands. Thank you for the work that you are doing in our families. For everything that you are bringing together in our families. For all the healing, all the deliverances, all the, the unity and the love and, the, and, and, and bringing our families together. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you for everything that you are doing in our families. Thank you for everything that you are doing in our health. I thank you God Almighty because you are strengthening our bodies and you are healing our bodies. We believe that you are touching and renewing us. In our bodies, I thank you for healing, for everything that you're doing in us, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I thank you for everything you're doing in our finances, for what you're doing, Lord God, in our career, for the doors you're opening. I thank you, Lord God, for in the most important thing. Thank you for what you're doing in our prayer life. Thank you. Because our prayer life is no longer the same. Thank you so much because we are more strong in you. Thank you, Lord God, because we are solid in prayer. We are no longer, Lord God, struggling. Now we are strong. Now, Lord God, it's easy to come together to pray. Lord God, I thank you for restoring us the most important thing in our Christian walk. The most important thing in our Christian life is to fellowship with you, to have intimacy with you. Is to establish a solid life of prayer. A solid life, a life of prayer. A life of obedience and walking with you and walking according to the word. And, and Lord God, in praying daily and developing the life of prayer. That is the most important thing in our Christian life. Because that's the way that we know you. That's the way that you speak to us. That's the way that we fellowship with you. And so I thank you for what you're doing in our lives of prayer. Thank you for everything that you're doing in us. Thank you for the way that you're changing us. You change your mindset. Thank you for everything that you're doing. We worship you. We praise you. 
Give us a heart of gratitude. Give us a heart of praise. Give us a heart, a passion of praise and worship, a, pra a passion to praise, to worship you, to look for every opportunity to say, you did again. You did again. We don't want to be those who receive miracles after miracles and they run away. They run away from the presence. We don't want to be like those 10 lepers that they were in need of a miracle and you heal them and nine left and only one came back to praise you. Only one came to worship you, Jesus. We don't want to be those nine Those nine lepers that received a miracle, but they never came back to praise and to worship you. We want to be like that one. That one that came and he fell at your feet and he praised you and he worshiped you. That's what we want for our lives. And so I pray for everyone that you strength each and every one. He strength each and every one of us. Give us a heart of praise. <laughs> Give us, a, give us a heart of gratitude. Help us to be grateful. Help us to take our eyes off our problems, oh God. Help us to take our eyes off our problems and help us to gaze upon you. The more we look to you, the more the devil runs away. The more we look to you, Lord God, you fight our battles. The more we look to you, Lord God, we refocus, we redirect our vision, our eyes, Lord God, upon you again. The more we look to you, the more we get empowered, the more we look to your, our problems and our trials and the problems of life, the more, Lord God, the enemy hit us, the more the enemy attack us, Lord God, with the lies and the, and the distractions of this world. And so help us, Lord God, to stay focused in you. Help us to redirect our vision in you. Help us to keep our eyes, our vision upon you. And help us to worship you for every little thing. Every little breakthrough, every little blessing. Lord God, even the air that we breathe. Come on, my brother, my sister, take a deep breath. That's a reason to praise Jesus. That is the reason to praise the Lord. Come on, take a deep breath. That's a reason right there to worship the Lord. That's a reason to praise the Lord. God, help us not to take for granted all the blessings that we receive daily. Lord God, there's more good happening in our lives than bad. I know no matter how bad No matter how horrible things might look in the natural for, my, uh, for us. I know that the blessings, if we really count the blessings, they are way more than the problems in life. Just the fact that we are alive. Just our God, the fact that we can breathe, that's a reason. <laughs> that's the reason to praise you. To worship you for your goodness. And so, Father, I bless my brother, my sister. And I pray, Lord God, this, this last week of our prayer challenge for this month, I pray that you'll help us, Lord God, to go through this week praising and worshiping and, and combining prayer and worship and combining, Lord God, prayer and worship with the word, worship with the Bible, worship with pra uh, praise and, and, and the word. Lord God, let us combine all of this. Let us, Lord God, praise you. Let's read in the word. Let us pray. Let's call upon you. Father, I pray. Bless my brother, my sister. And strengthen the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. If you receive it, say amen. I'm telling you, praise is a, is a mighty weapon. Praise and worship is a mighty weapon. People of God, let us, let us be careful. Let us watch. Amen. Let us be careful that we don't fall into a snare of murmuring, complaining. We have many, many, many reasons to praise the Lord. We have so many things that we can be grateful for. And so let's take the opportunity to praise and to worship the Lord. Amen. 
Praise God, receive this final prayer in the name of Jesus. I have to get going here. Open your hands, receive this in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother, my sister, I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive, say amen. All right, people of God, I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. Okay, I'll see you tonight for more. Be blessed. Have a wonderful Sunday. Let me pray a final prayer for my ministry partners. Father, I pray for every one of them. They support this channel. My precious brothers and sisters that help us to spread the word online. Lord God, those who pray for us, those who support this channel, Lord God, with their super, stack, uh, super stickers, super chat with the links in the description of this video. Bless them abundantly. I pray, Father God, this week that you bless, that you open the doors and that you prosper every one of them. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. People of God, have a blessed Sunday. And I pray if you go to church, I pray that God will speak to you, that God will encourage you. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Shalom. Peace.